A man who was sexually abused by two Church of England priests for five years has told BBC South East today that he believes there was a much wider conspiracy involving like-minded clergy in Sussex. The man, who's now in his 40s, was repeatedly raped when he was a child by Ivor Whittaker, who was last week jailed for 16 years. Whittaker conspired with another paedophile, the Reverend Roy Cotton, who died in 2006. Our special correspondent, Colin Campbell, has spoken exclusively to the survivor of that abuse. Age 10, his smiles masked the horror his life had become. Targeted and abused by two Church of England clergy, Reverend Colin Pritchard and Sussex vicar, Reverend Roy Cotton. It was just awful. To live full of fear, to then have to go through physical excruciating pain and then the mental pain afterwards and then try and go home and be part of a happy, loving family. Pritchard, who changed his name to I-4 Whittaker, plied his young victim with alcohol. The abuse, which took place in the 80s and 90s, went on for five years. He conspired with Roy Cotton, who died in 2006, sharing his victim with the like-minded priest. If you had a toy that you wanted to, to lend to a friend, you, know, you just lend them a toy, and, and that's what I felt like I was. I was just a toy being lent to a mate, and it was... What was expected of me was just awful. Last week, Whitaker was jailed for 16 years. He had been previously convicted in 2007 for sexually abusing two other boys, but he'd first come to the notice of the police in 1997. It's crucial that um, when people are selected to work in positions of trust, whether it's in the church, whether it's in sports organisations, whether it's in charities or where, wherever it might be, um, that that uh, selection and recruitment and vetting process is as tight as it possibly can be. Arrested twice, Whitaker remained in position until 2007. Cotton allowed into the church after being convicted of child abuse. There's just so many failings. There's so many people out there that, that have been affected by this. They've had, they've had their lives messed up. Canon Gordon Rideout, Father Robert Coles, Reverend Jonathan Graves, Father Vic House, Bishop Peter Ball. Not surprisingly, this survivor fears there was a wider conspiracy. All in this one area, one diocese, which was run by at the time Ball, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. There's too much to be a coincidence. It's too much, too close. It, it can't be a coincidence. A stolen childhood, a life devastated by abuse. He says he spoke out to encourage others to do the same. His only hope is that no one has to endure what he did as a child. Well, Colin joins me in the studio now. And Colin, um, this case has been looked at before, of course, but now it's going to be looked at again in detail. Yeah, Rob, the case has already been the focus of two church-led inquiries. The most recent was by Baroness Butler Sloss in 2011. She looked into how Cotton and Pritchard were able to work in churches in East Sussex with allegations of sex abuse uh, against them. Uh, her report was critical, though, of senior clergy, but also Sussex police. And at the time, the Diocese of Chichester apologised unreservedly. But in a week's time, the independent inquiry into child sex abuse, set up by Theresa May, will examine again the, the Diocese of Chichester, the Church of England in Sussex, for about three weeks, and they will look at the case of Cotton and Pritchard. Now, survivors of abuse that I've spoken to this evening, they hope it'll find out how abusers escape justice and why no senior clergy have yet been held to account for mistakes that have been made. Okay, Colin, thank you.